Let's talk about topical pain relievers. So you've seen the selection in the drugstores um, with Icy Hot and Salon Paws and Asper Cream and, and all of the things out there promising um, the next quick fix. Okay. Well, we're going to talk today about how there's really no quick fix. Okay. Um, we do carry two topicals here in our office. Um, they are not magical formulas. They don't make all pain go away. They don't make you run better um, or perform faster. Um, but what they do is they help kind of calm things down enough to keep you moving through your day to day, which let's be real, that's what we need. Um, so one of the common questions we get is what's what, which one's better or what's the difference between the two ones that we carry? And we're going to dig into that today. Biofreeze is um, one of the oldest names in topical pain relievers, um, especially in the chiropractic world. So if you've been to chiropractors in the past, you've probably seen Biofreeze, you've probably used Biofreeze. Um, if you've ever used it, you probably love it because it's wonderful stuff. Recently, in the last few years, Biofreeze actually changed their formula a little bit um, and they made it a lot stronger and they made it smoother so it goes on with less clumping. And they've released a new um, colorless line, um, which is what we carry here in the office. So no more artificial green dyes. Um, it's a lot healthier of a formula for use. Now, when they did that, when they made that product stronger and, and made it um, all improved, they actually did release it out into um, drugstores and on Amazon and um, local retailers. Now, let me warn you, that formula is not the same as the as the formula that we carry in our office. Um, so the new line is the professional line and it's only sold through healthcare providers. So through chiropractors, physical therapists, medical doctors, um, massage therapists, local medical supply stores. So that is the good stuff. That's the stuff you've been using for years. It's the wonderful stuff. Now, the green stuff that you still buy in Walgreens or Walmart, it doesn't work as good. So if you've loved Biofreeze for years and you've recently picked it up at your local store and you've been disappointed with it, that's why, okay? So um, same old great stuff, Biofreeze, that we've been carrying for years. Um, we do carry it in the office. Um, the professional line, like I said, is the one that you'll want. Um, it comes in three different formulas. Um, so we have a spray bottle. Um, and what you'll notice about this is a unique sprayer on the top. And what it allows you to do is hold it upside down over your head to spray your back. Um, so it's called a 360 degree sprayer, so you can use it in any angle. Now this is great for hard to reach spots, but just be careful, you will have a little bit of overspray, say if you're using it on your ankle or your foot. Um, so be careful because it can be kind of greasy um, on the floor around you. What we recommend for those harder or those easier to reach spots um, to avoid the overspray is the roll-on. So this little tube, you'll see has a little roller ball in it. Um, and these are great, they travel well, they fit right in your bag. Um, and you can just pull it out, give it a little shake, roll it on the area that hurts, and toss it back in your bag. Um, another fun fact about this is the Biofreeze Roll-On is actually TSA approved for um, airline travel. So it's a three ounce bottle, so you can take it in your carry-on bag as long as you follow the recommended procedures. Um, and they won't take it from you, which is awesome. And then the other one is, this is the tube. So um, good old Biofreeze that's always been around. Um, it comes in a gel formula. Now this is great if you wanna massage the, the Biofreeze into your affected areas. Um, but be careful because it will get on your hands and um, Biofreeze is a menthol-based product, um, so it will sting. So uh, make sure you wash your hands really well or use gloves when you apply it. So Biofreeze is a completely menthol-based product, so it is only a cooling effect, so you have no heat element to it. Um, it's great for achy joints, arthritis, uh, muscle soreness, all of those things. Um, and it lasts, um, the effects usually last most people about six to eight hours. So you put it on in the morning, it gets you through your day or most of your day, it gives you that relief for a while there. Now, the other um, topical that we do carry is called Rock Sauce. Um, and you've probably seen it here in the office. We've carried it for a few years. Recently upgraded their packaging, so it looks a little different, but it's the same great stuff we've had for years. Now, Rock Sauce is a hot and cold um, application. So it does have capsation in it. So if you have a sensitivity to capsation pepper, um, you want to avoid using rock sauce. Um, also want to use it sparingly during pregnancy um, if you have any high risk complications, but let us know um, and we'll review all that with you and, and make the best, best recommendation for you. Um, so rock sauce has 
capsaicin for a heating element, and then menthol for a cooling element. Now, rock sauce only comes in a roll-on application, and that's to protect you. Um, so because of the capsation in it, if it does get on your hands, you wanna make sure you wash them very thoroughly because it can burn um, any sensitive areas like your eyes or your mouth. Um, again, you can toss this roll-on in your bag, um, pull it out, give it a little shake, roll it on the area that's affected, um, let it dry briefly, and then you're good to go, okay? so. I would recommend rock sauce more for muscular injuries. So it does work well um, on after a hard workout or if you have a lot of muscle fatigue um, associated with exercise or everyday activity. Um, it's really, really good, it feels awesome, it goes on warm and it has a time release cooling effect. So when would you choose one over the other? If they both work well for muscle aches and um, joint aches, um, part of it comes down to preference. Um, if you're the type of person that hates heat and loves cold, you're gonna default more to a biofreeze. Um, if you like a heating element, the rock sauce may be a better option for you. Um, so if you're not sure about which one you should use, come talk to us and we'll go through it with you and help you make the best decision. Um, now another thing to remember, if you do use any kind of um, rock tape or kinesio tape, all of our topicals are safe to use over top of that tape. Um, so that's a great option as well, um, so don't be afraid to uh, combine the two treatments.